Hey, what's going on, guys? Norn Car Rifle Man coming at you guys with another video. In this video, I'll be doing a uh, tabletop review of my Gen 3 Glock 19 here. But before I continue, I just want to make sure it's clear. Magazine is loaded, but there's nothing in the chamber, so this gun is safe. So, uh, you know, where do I start with this? This has been a long time coming video for me. I've been meaning to do this video for a long time now. Just uh, haven't had the chance really, or haven't really thought about, you know, pulling it out of the safe to do it or whatever. But um, yeah, I figured it's time, you know. This by far is one of my favorite pistols that I own or in general um, for many reasons, you know. Uh, main reason it's uh, reliable, it's a Glock, it's easy to shoot. Um, I have about, I don't know, not many rounds through this. I have maybe roughly four to 450 uh, rounds through this uh, gun. But uh, other than that, you know, I do carry it sometimes, uh, not very often. Uh, it mostly sits in my safe at home. Uh, this gun here is a gun that, you know, it's, like I said, it's easier to shoot and if I had to hand this off in a home defense scenario to my girlfriend or whatever, I would feel confident that she would be able to use this. And, uh, and yeah, so as you can tell, it's, uh, it's not very, for the most part of stock, you know, there is some, uh, additions to this gun, like the hand, not handle it, sorry, uh, the talon grips on here. These are the rubberized grips, by the way. And I have the TLR one stream light weapon light. And the uh, sights here, they're Glock factory night sights that I threw on there when I, like a month after I got the gun, I wasn't really a big fan of the plastic sights, so decided to get something a little better. Um, so why did I get this gun? You know, at the time, you know, I've always kind of wanted a nine millimeter uh, handgun. I just didn't know what to really get. And after doing a, an extensive search of what would be a good one to grab, um, you know, the Glock 19 appeared everywhere. I did a lot of research on it and I came to find that, you know, obviously it's one of the most commonly used firearms in law enforcement agencies, uh, military special units around the world. So, uh, I mean, I guess the gun must be doing something good, right? So yeah, I decided to pick it up and uh, I've been having it for a, a few years now. Have never had any issues with this gun. Uh, right out of the box, it's shot flawlessly. Um, it's a Glock, you know, again, you know, they're known to be reliable, so you really can't go wrong with this handgun here. Um, ultimately, honestly, this this handgun here would probably be my shit hits the fan sidearm that I would carry if, God forbid, something like that ever happened. Because, I mean, nine millimeter is available everywhere. Uh, a lot of people have nine millimeters, so I feel I feel like I'd be able to come up on ammo for this gun if I ever needed to, in that type of scenario. But um, yeah, it's kind of one of the reasons why uh, one of the many reasons why I love this firearm. Uh, the internals on this gun they're all stock. I don't really believe in, you know, messing with the stock internals on Glocks because they work perfectly right out of the box. And again, this is a carry gun, so you know I like to keep things stock if I'm gonna carry them. For many reasons, you know, uh, they're known to work better, uh, less fine tuning you gotta do. And uh, God forbid if you ever have to use it to defend yourself, I just don't really wanna modify too much on a handgun. And then that gets brought up later in, in a, you know, in a court case or whatever, so just keep it stock for the most part uh when i do carry this gun i don't carry it with the with the light i take it off i don't really like carrying extra weight so i will leave it off and um and i don't have a holster that you know could carry this uh i, I that can carry this with with the light on there i could get one but i don't know i figured you know it's just just a carry gun i mean i don't really care for the light honestly i mean, I, won't, I don't really go out at late late night anyways so my yeah no reason for me to carry extra weight but that's just me 
Um, there's nothing, there's really no frills to this gun. Uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, it's a good gun, reliable, easy to use. Another cool thing about this gun is that, you know, I also got this with the intention that, you know, if I want to teach a member of my family or a friend how to shoot, how to, you know, operate handguns, this would be a good choice to get them started with. Uh, nine millimeter, the recoil is a little bit more manageable, easier to use, um, quicker follow-up shots or whatever. So, you know, when you start somebody off with like a 40 caliber or something, you know, a little bit snappier than nine millimeter, then sometimes it might scare people away from shooting and getting into firearms and stuff. So I figured this would be a good gun for that as well. So, yeah, and you know, this handgun here, it's one of my, you know, primary home defense guns as well. Uh, obviously that's why I have the light on here. So, you know, God forbid I ever have to use it for that reason, but, um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's there if I need it to, or if I need to hand this off to my girlfriend and then, you know, me grab something else or whatever, I would feel confident she'd be able to uh, use this to defend herself or, you know, the family or whatever. So, yeah, um, I have been looking at some things to do with this recently. I thought about getting an aftermarket slide with an RMR cut. Um, I didn't really care for that initially, but now, you know, they kind of grown on me, but I would get, you know, that would be more for like, like a range toy kind of thing, you know, not really to carry unless, you know, the side that I go with, it's uh, pretty reliable and stuff, you know, maybe like a Zeb or something, but, um, yeah, I would definitely keep the, the stock uh, components on this one and just get an aftermarket one for, I don't know, range toy purposes or, or whatever. So, um, yeah, other than that, you know, I, I, I like, like I said, I don't believe in messing with the internals or things like that. So yeah, I mean, I think this gun is just great the way it is, you know, it's designed well. So I, I have pretty decent sized hands, but I mean, even still with a large hand, you still get a pretty good purchase of the firearm you know, so uh, it's big enough to fight with and small enough to conceal. So I really like this size of handguns for a lot of reasons. And those are the main ones, you know, um, they're big enough to fight with if you need to and small enough to conceal if you need to, or, you know, if you're going to carry it or whatever, obviously. But um, yeah, this is a great gun. I've been meaning to do a review, tabletop review on this guy for a long time and just haven't done it. Again, it's a Gen 3. Uh, in California, we can't really get anything past Gen 3s unless we get it from somebody that's in law enforcement or consignment somewhere. Um, but honestly, even if I could get like a Gen 4 or Gen 5, I probably wouldn't do it. Um, Gen 3s are known for having a good track record, so I think Gen 3s is where it's at for me. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. You know, if you find this video you know, helpful or whatever, if you're looking to get a Glock 19,